Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 4th of June. Briefly, our members on the Wave5 Trade Signals membership for stocks get daily updates with potential long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades on weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames. Also, our new stochastic long and short trade signals. Today I'm going to look at short trades, so our members simply click on short trades here and then for the 4th of June click on the image to download the spreadsheet. Let's have a look at what the spreadsheet looks like for today. So for today we are looking at a potential short trade on the daily time frame. Don't forget we also have weekly and 60 minute potential short trades on the 5th wave move. Remember the 5th wave move on an Elliott wave sequence is the highest probability move in a trend. Therefore a really good strong potential trade there. So let's have a look. I've chosen Pep, PepsiCo Inc for a potential short. So let's have a look at the chart. So I'm using the wave5trade.com Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader platform. It's also available for Think or Swim, TradeStation and Multicharts here. So for those that have this indicator suite, this is a tough one to isolate here. We've got the obvious highs at the top around about the 23rd of January here. But because we've got quite a range bound period, I've had to isolate it where the red arrow is here, which is your stochastic indicator arrow here and on that bar. Then we get the wave count one, two, three, four. Remember, we're looking for that fourth wave pullback and trading back in the direction of the main trade, the fifth wave here. So let's zoom in and have a closer look at this potential trade. So first of all, some of the filters that are included on the Stock Signals membership. So the basic filters that we're looking for when we're putting this data together for these potential trades. So first of all, the Wave 4 has pulled back into our green zone and found resistance with a nice doji there on Wednesday last week. We have then moved away. So this Wave 4 pullback is an 85% probability. This green zone, 85% probability is going to go on and make a new Wave 5 low into our automated target zones down here in blue around about $94.23. The next filter is the 535 oscillator down here in the subcharts. This is just pulled back between 90 and 140% and that's the sweet spot. That's where we want it to be and that's where our scanner membership uh, gets that data filter there. Also, the stochastic has pulled back against a really strong bearish move and that is denoted by these yellow dots there. These are our false breakout dots really really concentrating on a strong bearish move. So the stochastics pulled back against there. It's crossed over in the overbought zone and it's like an elastic band. It wants to return back to that main bearish trend on this fifth wave move. So let's have a quick look at the entry. So with our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we have the 6-4 moving average high, which is in the green, and 6-4 moving average low, which is in the red. So very, very simply, our entry is below, for a short, is below the 6-4 moving average low there for Monday's bar position. So 99.21 is the entry to go short on PepsiCo on the daily time frame. Stop loss is just above the Wave 4 high there, so around about 102.35 something like that and then we've got a decent risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our target zone here around about $94 so really really simple to set up from the signals membership we get that wave 4 pullback it was all about those pullbacks and then trading that fifth wave move back down to a lower a lower support level there our Elliott wave indicator suite does make that easier because we can label these Elliott waves we can put the entry strategy together and we have the target there with the 535s and the stochastic backing us up, all those stars aligning to give us that high probability trade. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.